Hey, hello everybody. This is yet another internet YouTube video on the 6th edition Tyranids. Yes, today we're going to be talking about old one eye. Uh, definitely one of the popular uh, Nid creatures. I, I don't think anybody's ever had a problem with old one eye. Um, uh, in this time, at first glance, at this time, I have to first. I have to admit, I've never played a Nid Zilla army. Okay, never played a Nid Zilla army. Yes, I'm sorry. I never played it. I never played it. So. I'm not that much of an expert on them. I will say that. So I've had to, I had to really, really double check the rules on on how they on how they fit together. And if I made mistakes, sorry, that never happens in 40k, right? Um, so at first glance, I couldn't really tell the difference between old one eye and what you can do with a regular Carnifex. Now, anyways, uh, now that Carnifexes can take biomorphs. It means uh, they can they can buy regenerate all by themselves. They they don't even have to, they don't have to be special. They don't have to do anything. They can just pay thirty points each, and they now regenerate. Uh, that means every turn they on a four plus they regain a wound. Yes, that's what I was thinking too. So what's the real difference now between one eye? Okay, he has alpha leader, so things within 12 inches can use his his leadership. You know, big deal. Uh, they're seven, he's eight. Uh, there has to be more than that. Okay, so if you make him your warlord, you do get the adaptive biology trait, which is nice, uh, which basically says is that after he takes a hit, any hit, from anybody, um, he gains feel no pain on a five plus for the rest of the game. I guess that's his bump up now for for that, which is which is nice. Uh, other than that, like I said, he gets his leadership buff, and uh, th there's not much else. I guess the big thing that I see now is that old one eye, I guess, is good at being leader of the pack uh if i were to build a nidzilla army uh, based bound one eye it would be a very simple list i would take three broods of three carnifexes led by old one eye that that's 10 that's 10 carnifexes everything else around that would be supporting what those guys do which is pretty is pretty scary when you think about it. Uh, I would have to go and double check. I think Hive Commander allows the uh, Hive Tyrant and Swarm Lord to give outflank to a unit. I'm not sure if it's only infantry units or if it's any units. If it's any units, I would definitely be giving two of those two of those uh, Carnifex broods outflank. Um, which would also make them uh, a little bit more scary. The uh, the big thing that happens and the big complaint that I heard about people making about the Carnifexes now is that their weapon skill and ballistic skill three. Uh, I haven't really had a problem with that because they got living battery ram. Yes, I think that is an excellent excellent add-on to the game living battering ram basically says they get a d3 hammer of wrath attacks when they assault so you could imagine old one eye with a brood of carnifexes that's a 4d3 hammer of wrath attacks and uh, then you don't really care about weapon skill why because they auto hit not only do they auto hit uh, they auto hit at initiative 10 at the strength of the creature hitting you. So, whew, uh, that's going to, well, for a while on eye, that's going to be a D3 strength 10 attacks. Right then and there. You add another unit, and you're going to add in another uh, uh, 3D3 from that. Few things are going to be walking away from that. And at initiative 10, you can have a squad of Harlequins or whoever you want out there. They're just going to they're just gonna run, run over them. Um, at least that's how I would see it. Uh, after that, they would move on to their normal attacks. 
Okay, and and you're talking about again. That's that's three or four, right? Three attacks for them. I believe it's four for old one eye. So you're talking about thirteen attacks. Granted, they're at initiative two, and you're saying, yeah, it's initiative two. The initiative two is a big deal, actually. It's a really big deal, and I'll tell you why. It means you get your hit in before all of those power fist type of weapons. I believe that's the only point why they bumped it up to initiative two. You get to avoid power fist weapons, which is, is also a good deal. Uh, or all of those slow moving, uh, I believe, what is it, Fabius's Biles one, the one, the ones with the um, insta kill. This gives you a chance to go before them, which is nice. And you only need one emission of point for that. On top of that, then old one eye, you know, with the Berserk Rampage, he gets another attack for every attack that he rolls every roll not his auto attacks not the hammer of wrath attacks not the prince little tail attacks the attacks normal attacks that he rolls and hits with adds one more attack no that doesn't stack on top of itself St still pretty nice that means you're still talking about one to three like i said it's going to be 13 attacks plus whatever he hits with and those are all going to be strength 9, strength 10, monstrous creature attacks. Uh, and on top of that, they all have four wounds, okay? So with also toughness 6, so you're not going to get too much insta-kill. Um, wow, is, is, is what I'm saying. How, how many things do you really see coming through that? And, and now when they all have regenerate and old one eye gets feel no pain, they can recover from that. Even whatever does manage to hit them, every turn, four plus, add wounds back. Ow. And if you uh, have a venom throat squad right behind them, then they get plus two or they're uh, plus two. Uh, shroud, yeah, yeah, I mean, plus two cover from stealth, adding that to them. <sighs> that's 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 a fairly intense unit, and that's just one. That's just four fexes. Now you could imagine y y you multiply that by three, uh, three heavy weapons choices, three fexes in each unit. That's nine fexes plus old one eye, making it ten. I could easily see an army based around that. It would be extremely difficult if you took no other units, no other major threatening units, which of course you're going to. You might be a Swarm Lord out there. You might be uh, uh, whatever, Turvagon. Who knows what else you might have out there. You could then have a whole bunch of Lictors out there or Warriors out there or whatever, but I can easily see this making a lot of difficult choices for for your opponent. Who are they going to shoot? You only have so many heavy weapons. Only so many heavy weapons. And if it, like I said, this is a good thing that then Old One Eye doesn't join a Fex unit because you can't, that's one more unit you'd need to target. So that's four units right there, which would be pretty much unaffected by most everything except massive firepower. Uh, even 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 an ordnance blast. If you if you if you just hit them with it, uh, worst case scenario, they they all take one wound. <laughs> Best case scenario, they they take no wounds. But uh, it, it, if they regenerate, they could all pop back one wound next turn as they're moving across. I think he would make a great second warlord choice if you went that route. Is, is how I see it. In a Nidzilla army, you're probably going to have other, you know, big boys as well. And uh, you probably fill up your fast attack with uh, flying monstrous creatures. Wow. Um, you'd probably also buy two squads of 30 knots so that you could take in uh, the Turvagon as two troop choices. 
that gives you two more monstrous creatures. And then, of course, you only need one more HQ, and you can easily pick another monstrous creature for that of your, of, 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 of your choice. That would be pretty nice. Uh, that would be that would be pretty nice for a Nidzilla army. Um, at least that's how I would work it. And you would just have so many, so many large creatures, high toughness creatures. And don't forget, they're also all, they're also all causing fear. Um, so if you bring up somebody with a shadow in the warp ability that moves up with them just so that you can get those psychers out there with the negative three off of their leadership in case they try to charge or hit in hand to hand that's also too awesome too also remember this would be an excellent time to use acid blood I believe they can get it I believe that it's just a biomorph that you would buy with them uh, I'm not going to look it up right now, but if it's the case, if it's the case, or at least if uh, if they could buy acid blood, then that means anybody who does an unsaved wound on them takes a strength 5 AP2 hit at the initiative that the wound happens, meaning immediately. You're not going to wait until initiative 2 or whenever it's the Fex's turn to go. Uh, you just do it immediately. That would be nice too. That's that many more hits. So I could see that happening for a nice Nidzilla list. Like I said, this is all just hypothetical in my head. I haven't written it down now, but that would be a nice and expensive. It reminds me of the old uh, uh, Iron Gauntlet days with the with the Imperial Guard, where they used to be able to take all tanks or tanks as troop choices. That would be nice. I could see that as a nice 1,500, 200, uh, 2,000 point army. Um, anyways, I hope you find that idea and those those tactics helpful in building your Tyranid list. Once again, trying to show that they're they're not as sad as everybody is trying to make them the sound. That they're actually they're actually pretty thumbs up. And right, so again, I hope you enjoyed this and uh, keep watching and subscribe to my list if you like it. Thank you very much.